Micron's increasing their capital expenditures from seven billion to thirteen billion year on year. Right, that's more than du that's nearly doubling. Um, and then they talk about 2026 uh, potentially being even higher uh, in preparation for huge buildouts for uh, AI. So that's what's really worrying uh, shareholders. Is is memory is always a cyclical industry, and anytime companies start raising capex, that that means production goes up and maybe pricing comes down. So that's the real big worry for investors. Gotcha. All right. I mean, uh, uh, memory's always been cyclical, right? Uh, you've got a lot of people thinking, though, that we are just starting one of the largest memory cycles in history. You don't agree? I, I absolutely agree. And what's what's interesting is, um, you know, when we talk about the race to build artificial general intelligence, that's what the companies here want to do, right? Uh, Meta, OpenAI, Microsoft, etc. They want to build supercomputers that are smarter than humans. And so that means hundreds of thousands of chips, right? If you look at Elon Musk's announcements, he's talking about a supercomputer that has 300,000 NVIDIA GPUs next year. And if you calculate out the HBM spend just for that, right, the memory spend on AI, it's close to $1.3, $1.4 billion of memory just for one supercomputer from one company, right? XAI, a brand new company that he just raised, you know, seven, $8 billion for. So you replicate that across the ecosystem, it's it's very clear that we're re turning into one of the biggest booms for memory ever. All right, so uh, let's talk about the uh, the stock. We're at about, what is it, 137 or so. Uh, the most bullish call I've seen out there uh, is uh, out from Rosenblatt Securities, right? This is Hans Mosesman, thinks it's uh, worth 225. Are, are, you, are you there or not as optimistic? So we're, we're not necessarily uh, stock callers, but we do track a lot of the industry volumes and revenue. And we do see Micron uh, growing, you know, their AI memory right now, they're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue. Uh, but given they are shifting from third place to second place in NVIDIA supply chain for memory, uh, AI memory specifically, we see that they're going to grow, you know, their HBM, their AI memory uh, to multiple billion next year. Right. And this is this is where their CapEx is going. This is where and the margins on that are really impressive. Right. So when you look at Micron, right, they have they have their NAND memory, which is the lowest margin. Then they have their DRAM, which is medium margin. But then this AI memory, this HBM is the highest margin uh, and the gross margin on that. We expect it to be over 60 percent. Um, and so that is going to really pull up their gross margins as a company as well.